Hey, Heath. Hey, Kevin. So, wow, look at this. Yeah, so we ended up pulling 400 amps into this, so we split this into two 200 amps, one up here, one here, and we've also added solar. And we put this particular unit in because we want to be able to monitor everything for the home energy monitoring system in one spot. Okay. And that this allows us to do that. So we can feed the solar in, and we have our two separate 200 amp feeds. Okay. And what we've done is installed the actual monitor right here. So where is the smart monitor? And let's right talk about that. So this is a system that's going to let us sort of understand what everything is. This is. Uh, what does the installation entail? So normally this piece would actually just go in your main panel, whether you had a 100 or a 200 amp panel, this would right. go inside of it and you'd have a CT clamp that would actually go around the feed wires and that's how this would connect. Our situation here is a little different because of the different panels right. and the solar and A little different. We have a little more going on, so we actually had to go to the home center, get a few parts, a couple of boxes, a little bit of conduit. Yep. And we wanted to make sure we got this piece inside here because it's conditioned space. It doesn't want to be outside where our main connections are. So those CT clamps that you're talking about, literally those half circles that go around the wires, right. are you putting them around the wires going into each individual breaker as it goes no. down the panel? Luckily, we don't have to do that. That's the nice part of this. You really only have to do it to the two feed wires coming it. So if you just put it on the feed, the main feed wire, mm -hmm. how does it know the difference between a circuit that's a vacuum or a toaster versus a refrigerator? That's the great thing about this. It's actually the software. So this has machine learning inside of it and it can actually detect what's being used when. Huh. Okay. So there is an antenna on that thing, which right. means it's sending information out to... To the Wi-Fi network in the home. That way the owner can actually pull it up on an app or the smartphone. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay. Uh, and it's got it up on a tablet here too. And you can see on the bottom, we've got the timeline. So this mm -hmm. is minute by minute usage, right. spikes, peaks, and valleys. So that's our consumption. And how do we know the individual breakers and the individual appliances? So we actually have a device list. Oh, yeah. And it will show what it's discovered in the system so far. It's already figured it out. So being on a job site, it's found a bunch of saws <laughs> right. or vacuums. Right. But the really cool thing is we just plug the fridge in it's already found the ice maker within a couple of days. Cool, okay. By watching this, you can kind of learn what's being used, what isn't being used, what's on, and where you're losing power. You can correct some things. And the longer the homeowners are here, presumably they lived here for a mm -hmm. while, the saws will go away and they'll be replaced with televisions and computers right. and such. Yeah, they will continue to learn. The longer it runs, the better it gets. Gotcha. So these are the things that are consuming. Um, how do we deal with the production? Because in this case, we have solar up on the roof. Sure, so this actually ties in with the solar and it shows you how much you're producing. Look at that. Today it's kind of cloudy, we're obviously not getting much, yeah. but it would actually show you this is producing so much in solar, it would show you on this end how much it's using, huh. and the advantage of this is you can actually balance this out and see what you're using, what you don't need, what's on that doesn't need to be, mm. and bring it back down so you can adjust accordingly and really kind of get a net zero effect on your power. Once you have this level of information, you can start changing your behavior exactly. and get more efficient with it. Yeah. So is this the future? This is definitely the future. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.